Princess Diana, who was also known as People's Princess, had an unhappy and troublesome marriage with Prince Charles. Expert Andrew Morton claimed the complicated relationship the Prince of Wales had with his late wife will leave him facing difficulties during his reign as king. Prince Charles will have a mountain to climb once he becomes the head of state due to the tainted record that Diana Rowe left him with, Mr. Morton claimed. The royal biographer told Newsweek, everyone focuses on Meghan and Harry but they're looking in the wrong direction. They should be focusing on Prince Charles because he has got a mountain to climb. Prince Charles, our future head of state, future king in the very near future, is only polling in the low 30s and low 40s. Fellow expert Penny Juner appeared to agree with Mr. Morton's assessment, saying, after he does become king, more trouble is likely as the shadow of Princess Diana, the people's princess, will always linger over his reign. I think that is something that will haunt him indefinitely, unhappily. The problem is that at every anniversary, she will be brought up again, and the facts or a version of the facts will be trotted out. There will always be people who choose to believe everything they see and hear and what. Things like the crown, I think, are incredibly damaging and are giving a false impression of Charles to the world. Prince Charles and Princess Diana became embroiled in a bitter war of words in the years leading up to their divorce in 1996. The Princess of Wales gave a controversial interview to Martin Bashir on BBC's Panorama while Prince Charles was interviewed by his biographer Jonathan Dimbleby. The Prince of Wales addressed unfaithfulness claims, admitting he had been unfaithful to his wife but insisted that had happened only after the marriage became irretrievably broken down, as both having tried. Princess Diana also confirmed her own infidelity as she took a swipe at her husband and his long-term lover, Camilla Parker Bowles. Mr. Bashir asked, Your Royal Highness, how prepared were you for the pressures that came with marrying into the royal family? Diana replied, At the age of 19, you always think you're prepared for everything, and you think you have the knowledge of what's coming ahead. But although I was daunted at the prospect at the time, I felt I had the support of my husband to be. Mr. Bashir further asked, what were the expectations that you had for married life? The royal said, I think like any marriage, especially when you've had divorced parents like myself, you'd want to try even harder to make it work and you don't want to fall back into a pattern that you've seen happen in your own family. I desperately wanted it to work, I desperately loved my husband and I wanted to share everything together, and I thought that we were a very good team. The continuous tit for tat exchanges in the media are ultimately believed to have forced the Queen into ordering the couple to divorce.